Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Girl and Gaming Pokemon Pearl Nuz Lock Challenge. In today's episode, I believe we're going to go see some lakefront property that's been destroyed by Team Galactic and fight some members of Team Galactic. Um, but perhaps most importantly, so we were told by Sprouts when I came out of that gym to come here to the library. What a nerd, am I right? Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is not go to the library. The first thing we are going to do is, one, heal up. Hey, what's up? Heal, 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 heal. Yep, cool. Um, I think we need to teach one of our... Let's just, just give a quick rundown of the, uh, the current attacks we have here. We have starred... Growth, big drain, yep. I'm checking for strength. I don't, I'm pretty sure we haven't taught anyone strength. Yeah, no, we have not. So we need to teach somebody strength so that we can go look for a Gible at long last. It's finally here. Yes, teach strength to a Pokemon. Um, mm, all good, all good options. I think I'm gonna go with Dr. Sir at the moment. Um, and we're going to get rid of Mimic because, let's face it, stupid and strength, not actually that bad. Um, there you go. One, two, po poof. Sorry, I know Mimic is sort of like your whole deal, uh, there. Mr. Doctor, Professor, St. Captain, Lord President, General, Vice Chancellor, Sir Esquire the Third, but we got things to do. We got, we had potential dragon Pokemon to catch, you know what I mean? We're gonna need, we're gonna get some Ultra Balls. Because we're not going to mess around with that. We have some Dusk Balls. That's going to be good. Here we go. All right. Where was that cave? I mean, we got to be... I don't even know. Maybe I should bring something a little weaker. I'm not sure what the level of the stuff in the cave is going to be. Like, I really... We got to, you know, not kill it. Whatever we run into it. Uh, or whatever we run into. Um, let's fly. We'll come back here. Kind of Life City and continue the actual quest here. So where I don't even remember where we went. Where was the cyclic road? Was it uh this isn't it. Orberg City, it's not right there either. It's gotta be one of these up down. I'll find it. Okay. We are in the Wayward Cave. Yes, we are going to push it aside. Okay, so the real important thing is... Oh man, I thought we were totally gonna have to use Flash. Man, I can't believe it's lighter in the basement of a cave. Whatever, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. All we really wanna do is run into a Guybull. I don't think we have to go much farther than this to run into. I could be wrong. We haven't run into anything yet. That seems weird. There it is! Oh gosh! <gasps> We ran into one! Okay, but it's freaking level 15, and we are kind of a lot stronger than that. Um, okay, um, we are going to have to be so, 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 so careful here. Um, what can we hit it with that is super not strong? What is our weakest attack on the team? This is, oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Maybe we can just throw a ball at it and we'll just catch it. Who knows? Who knows? Um, let's see. Okay. Summary. Check moves, that's better, right? Um, we should at least, we could at least stun spore it. Cut is probably pretty weak, but that's 50 points. Um, hey, everyone's so strong, that's the problem. See, now, now it's almost like, oh, maybe Ember is pretty weak and it's gonna be not strong against it, but I still think it's gonna do a lot of damage. Um, so let's do at the very least, let's bring in Hamilton here and throw a paralysis on this thing. Oh, it's gone Sandstorm on us. That's fun. Buffeted. Yay. Stun Spore. Cool. Okay. 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 And here we go. Um, let's just see what happens. I mean, it can't hurt, right? Dusk Ball. It's paralyzed, it's weak, or it's level 15, but it's Guyville, so. Yes! Ah! You guys, we got a Guyville. I'm so excited. I, this is, oh, bad. 
I'm so excited. This is, oh, what a great day. What a great day. Ah, oh, man. Okay, good stuff. Good thing. Yes, we're gonna name a nickname. Iro. Welcome, Iro the Geibel. You are coming probably right onto the team. Good, sir. Ba boom. All right, and we are getting out of this cave. Yep, see ya. Get out of there. Bye. Bye, rocks. Now we're going to fly. Whee! Oh man, I'm excited about the guy, will you guys? It's so exciting! It's so great! Oh man, but the question is so, the sad thing is that means we have to move someone from the team, which I don't like doing, because everyone's doing so well. There you are. Oh man, let's have a quick summary. What do you got? What do you got for us? Sand attack, dragon rage, booyah, sandstorm, and takedown. Of course, level 15. So we got some, um, we're gonna have to do a little bit of training up there, eh? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, let's see, so, you move. But who, let's see, I feel like, uh, like I really don't want, I like, I really like Mr. Dr. Professor St. Captain, Lord President, General Vice Chancellor Sir the Third. But I think this sort of like the ground rock thing sort of sort of hits the same um, stuff. I think this is where we need to make the switch. Dr. Sir, your services have been wonderful. We thank you for being even, you know, uh, your time spent on the team. You will be the first one we call upon, should anyone uh, fatally fall in battle, which I really hope doesn't happen. That would be really quite awful. Oh man, though, I'm excited about that. Um, let's see, so we're gonna give uh, Guybull the EXP share and just sort of let Iro just uh, leech some XP for the majority of the episode. Otherwise, let's put, uh, well, no, not fly. Let's switch Romera into the front here and go to the library and just see what starts happening. Here we go. We got to probably, of course, the oh, Hey, John, over here, this way. I have all my favorite people. Okay, Gramps, I brought John, like I said. You didn't bring me here. I, like, since you've talked to me, I went and caught a Pokemon in an underground cave. You're like the worst retriever ever. I don't know. All right, I'll be out of here. <laughs> okay, I get it. Yeah, I want to leave too. Don't worry. <laughs> Everyone's finally here. I've done. Everyone just knew after. Mm -hmm. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. I did forget. Fact. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve, those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Hmm. Those that are immature as living beings evolve into more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? I don't think so. I think they just don't evolve. Not every single Pokemon evolves, Rowan, and they're not all legendary either, so. I mean, immediate flaws in your plans. Ah, this is where you three come in, and the three lakes of Sinnoh that are said to be a mirage Pokemon, if we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get no Pokedex. Um, and who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for grabbing a better trainer too. You can count on me. Okay. Anyway, that's okay. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Don, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Sprouts, I want you to go to Lake Acuity. That would take you up a bit. Stop there. Uh, yeah, of course. Call it. You know, blah, 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 blah. And that leaves John. Lake Valor. Between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Okay. So I guess we need to go outside and fly to this lake. I had other things I was working on. Ooh, that tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, 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 old dude and kid. <laughs> old dude and kids. Something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! John, I'm worried about Lake Valor. Well, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, let me stress. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. 
I love how he's like that. Uh, here was my initial plan to just go investigate lakes. Giant explosion. Mmm. Stick to the plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever, man. Whatever. To Lake Valor. Oh, not summary. Fly, Emery. That's Verity. That's Valor. So I guess we need to go to Pastoria City. And we will just head east. Whee! Aha! We made it to Lake Valor. Okay, like hidden, tucked away. Not super easy to find, but that's okay. We're good, we made it. Ah, next stop, Lake Verity, the closest civilization is that hick town called Twinleaf. We can roll in there completely unopposed. Okay, so I guess that's where we're heading next. Hey, look! Magikarp! Weakly flopping about. I mean, it doesn't look super weak. Oh, uh, but no, I've trained a few Magikarp. Uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Would you like to join the Magikarp and flop around in the mud? Doesn't sound like a horribly boring thing to do. Um, I don't want to, but here we go. Um, aerial ace? This thing doesn't look that tough. Assist? I don't know about that. Why would you have that if you're not in a double battle? Grogunk! Okay. And your aerial ace in the face! Ace in the face, man. Oh man, and there you go. Iroh starts getting his first little bits of experience. So excited to see him grow up to be a big scary Garchomp. Oh, Garchomp is the best. Now we set off the galactic bomb and the its blast force was phenomenal. These guys are like actually a legit threat. Like they're like actually setting off bombs. You know, that's that's more than most uh, enemy gangs do. In Pokemon, I feel like. Um, we're just gonna keep on aerial acing these chumps. Ooh, you were a little bit stronger than expected. Fly! Oh. Huh, Romera! What is this nonsense? I think they can take us? Aerial Ace! Destroy them in the face! There you go. I reckon level 16! What? Alright, alright. And Krogar. So this should be uh, no problem at all. We're just gonna Aerial Ace you. Kabam! Kadead! There we go. These guys got nothing. Oh, what? <gasps> I didn't even think about it! I didn't even think about it! Yay! Romera! You glorious Staravia! Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here we go, guys. Here comes the big guns. Staraptor. Romera has evolved. Oh my gosh, what a great day! Oh, we caught a Kaibal. We have a Staraptor. What's with close combat? Oh yeah, we love close combat. Um, we're gonna get rid of Steel Wing because we don't use that very much. And poof. It's gone. Close combat. Hooray. Awesome. And also, we're going to make sure we don't immediately lose our Star Raptor because it, um... Romero, putting in, putting in the work. I thought we had a couple more levels before that happened. I'll punish you in place of our boss for defying Team Galactic. Does that mean you were going to punish your boss for defying Team Galactic? Or, yeah. It's, just, it's a poorly worded sentence. You know what I mean? Uh, Aerial Ace. Oh. Sucker punch. Pfft, that didn't do anything. Did you see what I do you want to fight this giant bird? I've got dust ox. Ooh, okay. I see I, you do have some good Pokemon We all remember how immensely useful a dust ox can be um, Light screen, I don't know if you noticed but I'm using mostly physical attacks. So that was kind of a waste, but it's all good I would love 17 and a beautifly I think we can take this one out just the aerial ace. We probably could hit the dust ox with just the aerial ace, but Dust oxes are tricky. It could have flashed. We could have been blind forever. We don't want that. It looked like there was someone else down here, like, uh, marveling at the magic art. Worthless! How dare you, sir? Anyway. I think we have something of a boss battle coming up here. Like, all those little galactic, um, folk. Oh. Can I fight this guy, though? No, doesn't look like. What do you want? Are you one of those nitwit fools guarding the entrance? Ah, it doesn't matter who you are. It's too late to make any difference. Things are going to get really interesting now. All the legendary Pokemon are going to be brought to our HQ in Veilstone. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Sup, Holmes? 
The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself. Beaten by a child. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, good bra. Um, let's see. What do we got? Who's gonna be best for Kadabra? We absolutely um, the only dark type attack we had was on um, Doctor Sir, and he is now in the box. So da -da 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 -da. let's see. Um, I don't feel like this thing can do a ton of damage to us, but that doesn't mean anything, does it? Uh, let's go to. Because you know what? Kadabra just doesn't have a lot of, like, defenses, right? That's the thing about Kadabra. But, mm, Romera, not always. Uh, Staraptor, maybe doesn't either. Let's do a fly. Psychic! Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh! Oh, man. Okay, so the good news is that we are... It doesn't matter! Look at that! Boo! I think we evolved just in time, because that was really close. Oh. Oh boy, okay, we're probably gonna switch here. I agree to level 18, yay, Iro, that's great for you. Bronzor, we know just how to fight a Bronzor. Hopefully they don't uh, use like Pursuit or something. I don't think Bronzor would have that. We're gonna switch out, thank you Starfire, what's up? Oh my god, it has Rock Tomb though. Oh, that's not good, that could be bad. Um, we're definitely gonna go first though and we're definitely gonna Fire Blast it and it's not gonna matter. Yes, oh, I'm so glad that my prediction immediately came true and we didn't miss and we did kill it. Woo! And Toxicroak. Okay. Okay. Um, my main concern is that I don't want to sw um, switch um, Toxic po It's Poison Fighting. Um, who could we take this with? Who could we take this with? Um, I want to fight it with Staraptor. Right? For sure. Uh, with Romera. So let's just heal real quick. I don't love the idea of Starfire just taking some sort of possible, like, ground attack, though. That's my other concern. <clears throat> we could probably switch to Ozzy and be pretty okay. Well, but it's part fighting, we're part steel. Uh, Hamilton's probably solid. Let's just heal real quick. There we go. Okay. Faint attack. Not too dangerous. I guess it could have Pursuit, which would kind of stink, but... It didn't. It didn't do it. Poison jab. Oh boy! Okay, and we're poisoned. That's not good. Um, HP. See, I'm pretty sure we could just close combat this thing and that would be it. We could also probably just aerialize this thing and that would be it. You know what I mean? Um, hmm. A little tricky. A little tricky. Revenge. Oh dear. Okay. Revenge will do more damage if aerialize this thing it's going down oh boy uh oh it's got a, it's got the berry poison jab poison oh gosh okay 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 i just don't want to be killed by poison otherwise i would just go straight up for the aerialize there we go okay now i'm feeling better take the poison damage and then we fight and then we aerialize and then dead whoo okay whoo it's pounding a little there a little bit yeah, okay, you didn't do anything. Ah, I, a command, only managed to buy us time, but that's fine. I don't think you'll never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic, you know, you say that, but I think I am able to catch the, uh, like, you know, god of time later in this game, so maybe I will be able to stem such flow. Um, the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes with that power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Ma, I should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Okay, see ya. I need an uh, antidote. Do we have that? Yeah. Cool. Anything else fun in this cave? Nope. Cool. <clears throat> Romera fly. I think we go way back to that hick town, Twin Leaf, where I guess we're like supposed to be like a, like a little hick child or something. Mom, can I rest? <clears throat> Thanks, Mom. See ya. I'm trying to like save the world, but I think I'd take a nap first. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? Ha, Dragon Port Timing. Her team got the sound doors are leaving after the legend, or after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. I don't know, I'm gonna have to double battle with Dawn. Oh! Oh! Hey, double battle anyway. Let's do it. Oh, no, wait. Oh, for a second I thought, I thought Iroh was in my second slot. I was like, <gasps> oh, no. No, I mean, we just switch out, but, you know. Don't want to expose him too much too early. Uh, we're going to Aerial Ace on the Silcoon, and we're going to Giga Drain on the Glammeow, and it is Kadead. I don't know what, this late in the game, they're still using things like that. How many we go to level 36? I right, go to level 19, Sand Tomb. Let's see, is that worth it? No, it's basically like Fire Spin, but with sand, and it... I think we're better off with what we've got, honestly. I, yeah, no. Sorry, Santu. No good. Give up on Santu. Yeah. Giga Drain! Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing. You try what? You trying to hurt Hamilton? Oh, okay. I don't like that because um that could hurt Hamilton. That's not good. Um So let's do this. Let's aerial ace the Glammeow and just knock it out. And we're gonna switch Hamilton out for Ozzy shift. Here we go. Nice. Wing attack did nothing! Uh, now we're going to aerial ace Golbat and... Ah, uh, see now I've got my lovely dilemma of does Surf do more damage to your own team? I think it does in this generation is when that started happening. So we're just gonna brine on Golbat and hope that aerial ace actually takes it down below half, which Pretty much, I think that's exactly what happened. Great teamwork, guys. The double birds, the double double birds. It's great. These two have been together for quite some time. The long long term friends getting some. Look at that. Both fully evolved. Ah, uh, uh, maybe maybe instead of the Fang unit, what we have this time is Beak unit. Um, because nothing nothing. Got, well, you know what? We got Guyable. We have Fangs on the team again. <laughs> that's good. That's exciting. Um, but uh, at the same time, Beak Unit Alpha, maybe? I don't know, maybe? I'm not, hmm, eh, hmm, hmm, seems pretty fun. Um, this thing is going to, I'm gonna, I want to close combat something, so we're just gonna do it because that thing looks so close combatable. Uh, and we'll just give it, a, give it a pluck. Cadet, yeah, like it's gonna live through that. It's not. Yep, yep, Galactic Grunt, down, see ya. I'll, I'm gonna keep it, we're gonna keep going with, uh, we're gonna keep going with Beak Unit Alpha. Let's go, boom. <clears throat> uh oh, and it looks like we have another boss fight, so there's that. I'll knock your Pokemon into orbit. If this mission is successful, we will get a nice bonus. Stunky and Beautifly. Yep, here we go, they got nothing. Um, I love close combat, so we're just gonna keep doing that to the dark types, because they have it coming, as far as I can tell. Um, and then we're going to pluck on the Beautifly. Close combat, die, see- Oh no, it didn't die! What? Are you what? Neither of them died? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Okay. Um, Aerial Ace the Stunky. Pluck the Beautifly. Now you're both dead and we take poison damage. Except that we also gain life from- I right, we're to level 20! Five levels already. Five levels. It's just a matter of time, guys. It's just a matter of time. Two Glammeows. Okay. I'm uh, gonna close combat one, and we're going to brine the other. There you go. Down. <laughs> the problem with close combat is, of course, that Ozzy level 38, what? Boom, boom! Loving it, loving it. <laughs> oh, oh, Beak Unit Alpha, you are amazing. I love it. Um, we're gonna have to go, I think, Heal because I don't want to fight do this boss fight with damage or missing close combats. There we go. Okay, thank double naps, double naps, always good. Thanks, mom. See ya. Bye. Uh, this is this has been a great episode for Romera. My goodness. Um, I think is this gonna be our fight though, man. Whew, all right, let's do it. It's been Romera's. Day the whole day. Let's see if we got one more. That face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Windworks. Yeah, I remember, because I believe that's where you killed 
my Bastiodon, not my Bastiodon, my, my Shieldon. I think you killed my Shieldon if I don't, if I recall. Are you, are you some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance, not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Okay. If you say so, buddy, if you say so. We're going to switch to Solomon. Ooh, there it is. Supersonic, yeah, that was a dumb move. Thunderbolt! Boom. Boom. I get over 21. Woo! Look at these stats. Look at these stats. Yep, 36 that attack stats. Insane. Bronzor. We know just how to handle Bronzor. Confuse right. Oh, no. Okay, Starfire. I believe in you. I think you can fire blast this thing through the confusion. I was wrong. Extra century. Hmm. <laughs> Frustrating. Frustrating, to say the least. Um, but I, I'm gonna give you one more chance. And you, oh, Starfire! No, oh, <gasps> Starfire, Starfire. Oh, God, that, if that had been like critical hit, that could have been bad. Um, I think we should just be able to ember this thing away. There we go, it's gone, it's gone. Starfire, oh, great. Great battle. And the pure ugly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I think we're, we're gonna switch to Romero because we can just close combat this thing in the face. Um, and to throw the intimidate on it. My concern is that it's going to do something sneaky like pursuit or um, just hit us with something generally really strong. But it's gonna get the intimidate, which is helpful. Fake out, okay. So actually that's nice because we avoided like the whole flinch problem there. Um, okay, so we could do like a little double team just to make sure because if we don't kill it, then the problem will be that we have lowered defenses, which means it's lowered, but it has lowered attack, so there's that. Um, but like having that little bit of assurance might be good because this thing, this thing is a little strong. It is like four levels higher than us. Um, let's see. I really want to just close combat that stupid thing in its pure ugly face. Hmm, should we be safe? Should we be gutsy? <sighs> now that I said that, it seems like it's always more fun to be gutsy, but we're gonna double team once. <laughs> and it paid off, we didn't even take damage. Close combat. Oh, but then it's a faint attack, which can't miss. Okay, so there's that. Close combat. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Could have been gutsy, didn't matter. Pure ugly, down. Oh, Romera, having herself a day. Ooh, I love it, I love it. Lost again, yeah you did, no good. Ooh, we had, a, we had a couple close calls on that one. But man, I'm the ship me having the theme Galactus, man, calm down, I've also put myself, I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the latest Pokemon to our head queue. That's right, I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out, the boss is waiting at the headquarters. The Pokemon of the three lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at Lake Vow, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mesprit slept. Mesprit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So now we've got them all. Mesprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Yuxi, the being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. Hmm, I see that there's a grunts at Lake Vala. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about Lake Acuity? Is Sprout safe? <sighs> well, I guess we can figure that out. Um, although, hold on, let me just see. Where this one's Lake Acuity, like way up here, right? Okay, so this looks like it's a whole nother uh, journey of fun and stuff. So I think right now this is where we're going to call it an episode for the day, but great episode. We took down some Team Galactic bosses. We caught a guy bull. Romera evolved. Woo! We 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 dubbed Beak Unit Alpha. First of its kind. Amazing. Love it. It's been a great episode. Uh, be sure to leave me some uh, comments down below. Uh, so we name new Pokemon after people who leave comments, like this video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke challenges here on this channel, and I will see you next time. Boom, dead. Ha.